Yesterday, Cure went to have a face-to-face -face with the far-left liberals Tavis Smiley and Cornell West. Smiley and West are on a poverty tour going across the country. They're selling their new book, The Rich and the Rest of Us. We got there half an hour early, and the line was already out the door and down the hall. There must have been at least 50 people. There were at least 50 more who got in line after us. Their plan is to have more big government funding of almost everything. So I asked some of the people in line what they thought. This man is a graduate student. He learned about Cornell West because he was assigned to read his books in his graduate school classes. He's now such a big fan of West that he can quote him off the top of his head. We talk about the, the, the war on poverty like it's a real war. It's not a real war because there's no money being spent on it. So, I mean, it's right there. I mean, that was an, an interesting quote from him. There's no money being spent? It's not that there's no money being spent. I mean, look at we fought all these wars all around the world. We spent billions of dollars, right? How much money do we really spend on poverty? It's just not a priority. Actually, the federal government spends a whole lot more on poverty programs than for our national defense, even though we're in a time of war. But who is going to tell this student that? Smiley and West aren't going to tell him. We also talked to this pastor, Dr. Little. He pastors a church in the heart of Washington, D.C. He really cares about poor people, so he became a lawyer and runs a free legal clinic out of his church. He's obviously a pillar in the community someone who people can trust and look up to. And who does he look up to? In my mind, if there's such thing as a modern day prophet, that's Cornel West. Really? Oh yeah, because he's using his vast intellectual powers and strengths and gifts solely for the poor. This woman, she actually works for the authors. We asked for her view as a single mom on the plans that Smiley and West have for our country. Like Smiley and West's idea that businesses should be forced to have daycares in their buildings to help working moms. She didn't even know about this radical plan. Having daycares so that moms can be close to their children. And, um, because I mean, should that be a law? Like, that I mean, I wonder how many other people that are supporting Smiley and West don't realize what they really stand for, that they really have a communist agenda. Smiley and West write, we need a food delivery system that ends hunger and food insecurity. You mean like the Soviet Union had when they made all farms state-run? And what did this crowd think about President Obama? We asked the Poverty Tour supporters if President Obama is doing a good job solving poverty. Almost everyone said no, he is not doing enough to help the poor. But will they vote for Obama in November? So do you think that you'll still vote for him? Um, I think I will.